Morning guys, I promise I didn't forget. I'm sorry, I'm so like tardy this morning. Um, hey, happy Friday. Hope you guys are ready for it. I know I am. Uh, I have a treat to share with you guys this morning. Um, we are going to level two with our Stampin' Blend. So um, earlier in the week, I think on Monday, um, we did some Stampin' Blends work. So here is our um, card there. So we used that um, black and white designer series paper, the True Love paper, and we colored it with Stampin' Blends and got that amazing super deep color. Uh, and I talked about color here lines. So good morning, Petra and Cindy and Tanya and Sue and Trish. Thanks for, thanks for hanging in there. Sorry we were late. And I love how you guys say good morning to each other too. That just it makes me happy. Um, so actually I'm gonna hold on to this for our demo. Today, we are going to level two with our Stampin' Blends, like I said. And this um, is kind of a, a starting point of using the color here lines and then um, doing a little bit of extra color blending with different colors to sort of get a layered color look. And I know you guys probably can't see, but right out my window here um, is a beautiful magnolia uh, tree bush, a magnolia shrub. Um, but it survived the frost, so the blooms are absolutely gorgeous. And I should have gone in and brought one in to show you. But I love the way the color is super deep at the bottom and then opens up and gets lighter at the top of each bloom. So that's what we're doing today uh, because we are using the Good Morning Magnolia stamp set. <laughs> Good Morning Magnolia stamp set, which is so um, big that it comes in two boxes. And it's coordinating dyes, which are on sale for $8 instead of $35. So only a only a little bit left for getting these um, bargains with the new, uh, with the retiring product list and, and everyone with the with the discount, so. All right, anyway, you guys ready to see some stamping? Um, I'm gonna flip the camera down here and get us going. Oh my goodness, I must have tightened our stand for some reason. There we go, okay, so, all right. So we're going to grab um, our supplies here and the um, pieces that I am using are Stampin' Blends and I'll talk a little bit about my color choices. Um, the Magnolia Dyes, Magnolia Stamp. Um, I'm gonna show you one false start that I actually am probably just gonna pitch because I'm not fond of the way it turned out and I'll tell you why I didn't like it. And then um, some ribbon and some gems. So. The paper that I started my inspiration from is actually the Peony Garden paper, and the supplies are in the video description so you can look and see um, what they are and find those links. Um, but this paper is um, retiring and it's on discount, and it is super pretty. Um, it's sort of grays and pinks and um, a little bit of suede ish. The colors, official colors, are gray granite, petal pink, um, basic gray. So I guess it's gray granite. Uh, but anyway, it's a really gorgeous picture or paper and it's peony so it goes with a peony stamp set But I thought that it's not too far away from the feel that I wanted for our magnolia card So I went with um, the peach in here, which is petal pink and Picked out this paper, which is very super neutral on one side. Well, it's neutral on both sides But this um, just background is going to give us a complement base for our um, Stampin blends so you can kind of see how that worked out. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and grab a um, quarter sheet of Whisper White here, I mean basic white, and go ahead and ink up my Soft Suede ink pad. Um, and I am using Soft Suede because um, it really complements our colors. So I could use uh, Memento Black if I wanted, but that um, is going to be a little bit starker color. And I like the way this one matches and complements our color tones rather than um, you know set, set, set aside from them. Uh, so a couple of things to note about that. You might have seen that I inked my stamp this direction. When you have a really large stamp, um, you're much better off to ink by adding your pad to it rather than the other way around. Um, and so I'm gonna give this an extra second to, to make sure that it's really dry, especially because my suede pad is really inked. And Kim, I'm going to close my ink pad. <laughs> Um, actually, I might grab it back for one second because I think we're gonna um, add a greeting from this. The greetings on this stamp set are great. There are outside greetings and inside greetings. Um, so I'm gonna grab this hello, um, or thinking of you is, you know what? I'm gonna go, yeah, I'm gonna go with hello. 
Okay, so I'm gonna pop this on here and go ahead and do my punch. Um, now, I'm gonna use my double oval punch, which is fortunately available for ordering again, hooray. Um, but if I punch this on here, I'm going to have a giant hole in my cardstock. So instead, I'm just gonna trim myself um, a generous uh, piece there. And then when I put the strip in, I can um, line that up and punch my greeting and not waste quite so much paper, okay? So I'll set that aside for later. All right, oh, and I think I forgot to put the double oval in the in the directions, the supply list, sorry about that. So you'll have to add it if you want to grab that one. Okay, so we have our paper here and I realize there's a smudge there, but I think we're gonna cover it up, so not to worry. And I'm going to start, um, like I said before, so when we do this, I like to apply a color um, wash first that is our lightest color. So I'm gonna use um, Petal Pink and I am going to go over our flower. And because I want the whole flower to be, um, to be have a pinkish tone. So you guys have fun plans for this weekend? Anything super exciting going on? We get to go watch um, my daughter tonight in their, we have a parent preview night. So their show of uh, Little Shop of Horrors will be virtual, um, but tonight is parent preview and we get to watch them um, on sort of their last rehearsal before they tape. So kind of excited to see that. Okay, so there is our color wash with our light petal pink. And then I'm gonna take my next darker petal pink and this is where the color here lines come in, right? The shadowing. And I'm gonna be pretty um, pretty far up on my color here lines because I want to leave room for um, our second color to work in here. So color here lines are the um, lines that Stampin' Up! puts on, the artists that Stampin' Up! put on their images so that you know where the shadows fall, okay? And if you missed that video, I think it's episode 127, you're gonna wanna go back and check that one out. Um, it was the one where we did this coloring and got those super deep colors in there, so. All right, so I'm going to do my color here lines. And you know what, usually I go back and blend with a lighter again, but I'm not gonna bother with this because we're going to cover up a lot of this, okay. So finishing all these petals. Now, um, if you've ever looked closely at a magnolia blossom, they have a deep color um, at the bottom where they connect to the stem, and then they um, have a lighter color up near the tip of their petals, okay? So for my lighter um, color, I decided to go with 40 Flamingo. I know the color marker caps don't necessarily combine perfectly, like you're maybe going, what are you doing? Um, but the color tones really combine nicely. So now, instead of using the color here lines for shadowing, I am looking at each individual petal and coloring the bottom part of that petal, okay? So this is level two, this is where I'm talking about. And each petal base is so where it connects to the center of the flower, each petal base is gonna get this darker color treatment. And then I'm gonna um, kind of wipe that up a little bit. So I'm less on the color here lines and more on the shape of the petal and how close that part is to the, um, the base of the flower, okay? All right, so there's our lighter, and then we're gonna still do sort of our, um, our steps. We're gonna go with the darker, and I'm gonna add more dark color down at the bottom of each of those. And now, um, where those color here lines are at the bottom, I'll probably go ahead and sort of add some extra color down there, okay? So we're sort of a mix of the color here lines and the, the flower shape. And of course, you can certainly, you know, this is actually a really pretty stamp to do with no coloring, um, to just do like the, um, just, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, the artwork uh, speaks for itself, so you really can get away with no coloring at all. All right, so now I'm gonna go backwards and I'm going to do a little bit of blending so that I can, um, have just a little bit of blending between those two. And one of the things I find when I'm working with Stampin' Blends is that I like to um, kind of do things all at once as much as possible because the alcohol is actually saturating the paper. You can see that when you look at the back side. And so I end up with, um, I end up with uh, a lot better color flow if the paper kind of stays wet while I'm working, all right? So see how that came out? 
I'm pretty pretty much a fan of it. Now I'm gonna take um, a little bit of Daffodil Delight and add some center to it. Uh, and then we need to do our leaves. So for here, I'm gonna grab this. Let's see, oh my gosh. Um, Pam says she's going to the beach on Sunday. That sounds absolutely fabulous. Uh, I hope you have great weather. And let's see. Um, Jenny and Joe are coming. Oh, that'll be fun, Sue. Have a good time. Yeah, it's nice to uh, nice to kind of catch up with people for sure. All right, so I'm doing my color watch of soft sea foam. And then I'm gonna go back with my next darker. So this is sort of the um, the normal, right? So we have our color here lines and I'm using my second color to do my color here lines. And this is really pretty. Um, I'm gonna get the shadowing there, but I'm gonna show you one that I've actually already added um, a little bit more to. And I'm gonna show it to you in contrast with this one because I wanted to share how the color depth um, can really um, how the whole image can benefit from extra depth of color. So this one is um, just the soft sea foam. And then you'll see here that I have my um, olive markers. I'm gonna grab some soft suede, which you will remember is the same color as what we did our, um, what we did our stamping in. So I love that you can use your um, classic pads to stamp in a color and then color with your Stampin' Blends. So cool. All right, so you ready? So here is one that I've already die cut, and I want you to um, look at the difference here between the leaves on this one, which I just did with the um, uh, soft sea foam, and this one, which I added a little bit of um, extra green to with the old olive marker, okay? So you can kind of see the difference between the two, especially as far as really making the most of um, that color depth. So this one, I think, has a lot more dimension to it here with the, um, with the extra, so. All right, okay, so we are, um, I'm gonna leave this one since I've already done, uh, you guys can kind of see, I just went on the same sort of color here lines with my olive and then blended it. So I have my die cut version because of course these dies, which are, uh, did you hear me say they're $8? Um, I love these. And actually, even if you don't want the stamp set, the die set is really great. It's a shape die set, and I don't have a sample to show you, but these guys here are um, flower dies that you can assemble, and then you can use these leaves with them. So even if you're not, um, this one's from the same, even if you're not using the stamps with them, there are some really great um, opportunities to build some really pretty realistic looking flowers to add to your cards or even like little 3D items or um, a tag on a cute box with chocolate in it because stamping is fun, but stamping with chocolate is better. <laughs> um, so definitely look at these Magnolia Memory dies is what they're called and the link's in the video description there, so. Okay, all right. Um, it is a gorgeous set. I'm glad you like it, Trish. And Tanya, I hear you. Um, it was a good weekend for getting stuff done. I'm actually going to Boy Scout camp this weekend, so I'll be, I'll think of me all day tomorrow in the rain. It will be a blast. <laughs> um, all right, so I have our um, peony paper here, and like I said, I'm gonna use this color, and check out, okay, so this is pretty, but check out when we bring these colors together, and layer this on top, look at how it makes our flower pop. It just um, is really set off by having that petal pink be the same in both places, okay? Um, one of the other dyes that I absolutely love from this um, set, uh, which is definitely a keeper for lots and lots of cards, even when you're not doing anything with peonies, is this die right here. Um, it is this pretty flourish border, and it cuts and embosses, so what you get when you cut, I'll show you, I set this up ahead of time. So I put my cardstock on here, I ran it through, and I end up with this. There we go, there's the other side. Can you guys see the, um, the border on there? Really pretty um, with that extra embossed line. So I'm gonna take this and go ahead and layer it here on our card. Um, and I'm not gonna glue my petal pink layer down yet because I want to add um, just a little bit of ribbon to this. And so the ribbon I grabbed um, is from my from my stash. It's the um, Forever Greenery Trim Combo Pack. It comes two to a roll. And this is on um, super um, retiring list pricing too. And I 
love this gold thread and I'll tell you why when we get to tie it. But um, this is also really pretty, this vanilla um, woven ribbon. And so I'm going to um, grab this and cut out here and put this on our card. So I'm actually gonna just run adhesive right across the front. Okay, I wasn't gonna go up that high, but now I am. <laughs> And then, um, oh, I didn't show you the my like fatal error. Okay, it wasn't actually a fatal error. I didn't show you my, my misfire on the Stampin' Blend, so I'll have to show you that still. Um, okay, so that's gonna wrap around. And then um, I'm going to take this gold thread. And the gold thread is super, um, it, it comes apart at the end really, really nicely. Uh, so the trick is that you just wanna be careful with it so you're not messing too much um, until you're ready to tie it. So the bonus is that it um, threads, what's that called? Unravels, it, uh, whatever that is, uh, really well. And so sometimes you have a, a ribbon you want to like unravel to have those pretty um, loose ends, uh, but you have to work really hard at it. This one comes, um, does that really nicely on its own. So uh, I'm gonna wrap this around and tie a bow. And I made my ends a little longer than I actually wanted them to be because I want to um, have extra space for that thread. There we go, to unravel. And I'm just gonna, can you see I'm cinching the ribbons, um, this thread around the back way so that it will the, put the bow where I want it. Okay, and there you can see um, those pretty fringy ends on there. Okay, uh, all right, so then this is going to layer on our card. And just to make sure our ribbon stays where I want it, I'm going to pop um, some Seal Plus on down here, and then I'll just use Seal for the rest of it. And we will stick down our um, designer series layer. Uh, so here we have now sort of a, a base, a home for our flower. Um, and then, okay, you ready for the error one? Uh, the coloring that I did that I really didn't like, um, I actually thought I really wanted to do purple um, because there is a lot of um, really pretty magnolia with a really purple base to it. Um, so I used Rich Razzleberry. I almost don't wanna show it to you. <laughs> Um, it ended up looking like a bruise. So this was not, um, this was my, my misfire. Uh, I was not a fan of the way that petal pink and the raspberry came together. Okay, I can't look at it anymore. I'm gonna turn it over. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna come back here. Um, so lest you think that, uh, you know, everything, I love everything that I make. I do occasionally take a second go at stuff because um, you know, we can always improve once we've, we've seen kind of what we've done, but, uh, I'm going to add our magnolia on here. So this is going to get some dimensionals cause I want, um, a nice shadow on there. Um, I'll show you that up close. Uh, dimensionals are great because can you see how nice that extra shadow is on there? If I make this down flat, it's pretty. Um, but then the only contrast I have is that white border. If I lift it up, then I have not only the contrast of the white border, but also that shadow um, of underneath. So, morning, Sandy. All right, so I'm gonna pop some, uh, you can see that I stamped the back of this in, in basic gray. I kind of thought I was gonna do gray because I it matches the paper, uh, but I didn't love that either. So sometimes you play a little bit and figure out what you like best. All right, so we need some embellishments, we need a greeting, um, and then we're going to set this on here. And I um, kind of like this flower tilted a little bit to the side like that, uh, but you can certainly use it lots of different ways. And then I have our hello greeting that we did with our double oval punch. And I think this is gonna pop down here. I could put it up here, but then that, sorry guys. Um, I could put it uh, up here, but then that kind of creates a competition. Like where's the focal point? Is it down here at the bottom? Is it up here? Like, oh, where do I look? So if I bring this back down here, then we're, we're still, um, you know, kind of balancing our things, but we're keeping our, our focus down here at the bottom of the card and letting this be um, negative space up here. So, all right, so I'm gonna pop a dimensional on the back of that. I could layer our double oval, but I didn't grab any cardstock for that. So we're just gonna leave it like this. All right, so there's our greeting. And then with some gems, and these are the Elegant Faceted Gems. Um, and I love these here with this. Um, I think these are, mm, I don't wanna say wrong, 
The ribbon is definitely not continuing to new catalog. I feel like the faceted gems are. I'm flipping through my catalog here to the side. Yeah, these will still be in the new catalog, so that's joyous. And I am going to add some gems here to our project. So I'm gonna put that one down there. Um, and then I'm gonna put some of the smaller ones up here. Uh, and I love that we have um, this pretty color match here for our gems. And I'll pop one more over there. Oops. Okay, so these two are in a straight line together. So I can't, I don't like that. So I'm going to pop this one up a little further um, so that it sits there. Or actually, maybe I'll pop it down a little further. Yeah, I like it down. Okay, then it's sort of waiting toward our focal point there. All right. Sandy says she didn't get the set now. She might need it for a different flower. Yeah, actually, Sandy, uh, the stamps are really pretty on this and you could color them sort of any way you want. There's also a bloom in this stamp set, the small like closed bloom. And there's some samples for that in the, um, in the current catalog. There's a little leaf, um, but honestly the dye, the power of the dye is um, not only in the coordinating gorgeous large focal point um, image, but also in these um, fabulous little make your own flower kinds of shapes. So uh, you really can't go wrong with this one, especially man, um, as it is on clearance. So, or not clearance, it's on the last chance product list, um, which actually I'll just point out because I don't want anyone to be confused. If you go looking for things on the clearance page of um, my <laughs> online store, you'll find that um, there, there's a, a fairly short list, um, which includes some like past seasonal things that were overstocks. Um, this, the things that I'm talking about, and there's the link in the video description to the retiring product list. They're not technically clearance. They are last chance products, which means when this catalog retires to make way for the new one, um, those things won't be available any longer. And so that's why I've been emphasizing for the last couple, um, last couple days. And Sue says her her new catalog just arrived. So here is the new catalog. Uh, so we have this one until uh, May 3rd. This is go th through May 3rd. And then this one begins on May 4th. Um, and so last chance stuff and the like fabulous Magnolia dye discount that disappears May 3rd. New stuff starts on May 4th. Ha! Um, so if you are one of my customers, I should have grabbed a package. You, like Sue knows, um, would get a package in the mail in the next couple days. I sent them yesterday, so you should have gotten a um, UPS tracking link from me. Um, if you uh, order at least $50 from me in the last year, um, if you haven't ordered from me um, in the last year at least $50 and you would like one of these fabulous books, um, I would just ask that you would cover the cost of shipping. So um, send me a note or leave me a comment or something and we can figure that part out. Um, but yeah, this is a great book. So I know demonstrators have had access to it for a while. Uh, we have pre-orders, we have some sneak peeks of things that I've been showing you. I think I showed you um, my penguin card, right? Did I show you this one with the new in colors? <laughs> sneak peek. <laughs> um, anyway, the um, new, new catalog stuff is gonna be a lot of fun. If there is a ton of stuff that you love in here um, and you can't wait for it, you can actually get um, a lot of the things now as a pre-order as a new demonstrator. You can order them even in your demonstrator starter kit. So ask me for information about that if you're interested um, in getting a discount on them and getting them now. Um, and then, da -da -da, drum roll, starting on May 4th, you could get your demonstrator starter kit um, with a bonus $30 worth of product in it. So usually the starter kit is $99 and includes $125 of whatever you want from the current books at that time. Uh, but starting May 4th, it's actually gonna be $155 for 99 and you still get free shipping and it's a really great deal. Please, please, please think about this. Um, and you can learn more on my website, lovenstamps.com. So um, join my team and details about all the good things there. All right. So I hope that everyone has a super fantastic weekend, um, that you have some fun creative plans in mind or get lots done, right, Tanya? Um, and I um, would encourage you definitely to go check out the supply list in the video description and grab up some of these amazing products that will be disappearing soon. So, all right, guys, have a wonderful weekend and I will see you on Monday with another tutorial. Happy stamping.